Robert Harris is an English writer and journalist, author of numerous highly successful novels, including a trilogy dedicated to the figure and work of Marcus Tullius Cicero, Imperium, Lustrum and Dictator. In this video, Harris briefly explains why he chose to tell politics through the filter of the ancient Roman res publica and why Cicero is such an intriguing figure and so sympathetic for a modern reader. When I finished Pompeii, I'd, I'd, which I'd, a book I never expected to write, I found the Roman world so fascinating that I decided I wanted to set another book in ancient Rome and I had the idea of writing about Roman politics. I was a political journalist, I knew a lot of politicians, I always wanted to write a big political novel, but I'd been put off because I didn't think I could invent characters who were more bizarre and strange than the people in power. Uh, and, and therefore, I let it lie. But then, reading about uh, Pompey and Cicero and Cato and Caesar and Crassus and Clodius and the other characters that people this trilogy of novels made me think, Perhaps I could write a novel about politics that was universal, that would mean as much to someone living in Germany or Italy or England or, any, or America or anywhere in the world because the certain laws of politics are universal and the Romans established much of our language and much of what we think about politics. And I asked myself, you know, what was the Roman political structure actually like? How did the elections function? How did you campaign for election? Uh, how did you speak in the Senate to 600 noisy guys? How did you speak in the forum to thousands of people without any amplification? How did the law courts work? And uh, I spent two years researching, doing nothing but really research how Roman politics operated in the last 25 years of the Republic. Very quickly, it seemed to me that Cicero was the way in because, first of all, we know so much about him. More than 800 letters, many of them very intimate letters, survive. It's a, it's a treasure trove of detail about a human character. It was almost unprecedented in history. And he was sympathetic to a modern reader, I think. First of all, he came from nowhere, more or less. Uh, he was highly intelligent. He made his own way. Uh, he was a compassionate man. He had many, many flaws and faults and, and was very human. And I thought that he would be the ideal thread through the story, through the 25 years of the Roman Republic. The letters that he left behind, these 800 or more letters, can be viewed in one of two ways. They either show us a man in the round who is noble but also venal, who's uh, courageous but also often fearful, who's rather duplicitous. It was Cicero's letters in particular, the discovery in the uh, 14th century, that kick-started the Renaissance because people were so fascinated by them. <laughs>